guns. Every first person shooter has them, but no first person shooter treats guns in such a complicated way as Escape from Tarkov. And what's more, this game is so complicated when it comes to its weaponry and the game barely tells you anything. That means that you have to spend your own time researching and watching videos like these. So in today's video, I wanna give you some Tarkov tips and tricks that are really gonna help you along your way in this game. And hopefully whether you've got 100 hours played, 10 hours played, maybe even a thousand hours played, you'll find something in this video that you didn't know that is dramatically going to help you in your gameplay. And if you know all the tips that I talk about today, then do me a favor and go down into the comments and give your best Escape from Tarkov tip that you don't think many people know. And if I get enough of those comments, I'll make another video about them. And it'll be like a wicked community crowdsourced Tarkov tips and tricks video. But with that out of the way, let's get on to the first thing I want to talk about. And that is gun modding. Gun modding in Escape from Tarkov is one of those things that a lot of people when they're new to it just shy away from because to be honest it's bloody daunting. Every trader you go on has a plethora of different attachments and different things that they do. There's so many metrics and so much information that you have to learn and it can seem like you literally have no hope in hell in ever learning any of these. So I want to break down a few fundamentals that are going to make your life so much easier and once you get to grips with these basics just learning a little bit more about different attachments and seeing what attachments do as you pick them up is gonna help you to no end. Now, the first thing you're gonna need to do is build Workbench 1. This is a relatively easy upgrade to do in the hideout and it doesn't take long to acquire all of the bits that you need to do it. Once you have Workbench 1, what you'll be able to do is right click on any weapon and you can either open the modding page or the edit preset. Now the difference between these two is the modding page is gonna allow you to attach any attachments that both fit on the gun, but also they have to be ones that you already own within your stash. This is brilliant for just chucking on a few sights or chucking on a suppressor that you know is somewhere in your stash but you've misplaced it. However, if you go into the edit preset screen, what this is going to allow you to do is actually look through all of the attachments that fit on this gun and build like your dream gun for example. Now look, I could go into great depths about gun modding in Escape from Tarkov but that is like a video in and of itself. So for now, what I want to do is just give you some quick tips that are going to help you when you're using this screen. Now the first one is when you are actually building a gun, sometimes you'll do something to that weapon that makes it take up more slots and when you go to build the weapon, what's going to happen is that it will come up with a message saying that there is not enough room in your stash for this new weapon. What a lot of people tend to do is go back and they have to discard everything and they have to start from scratch once they have moved the gun into a spot that has enough space. However, do not do this. This is going to waste so much time and God knows we spend enough time in our stash already. What you need to do at this point is press tab and then when it comes up with the message saying do you want to discard everything blah 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 you click yes and that will take you back into your stash. You can then move the gun into a space where there is enough room and then hit tab again and it will take you back to the preset screen with everything that you had done already there for you and you can just click assemble and you won't have to put everything together piece by piece again. On another note, always remember that when you are adding things to guns like a suppressor or a stock, whatever it may be that is going to make this gun bigger, the gun model will always move to the right. Even if the gun is facing to the left, for example, and you're adding a suppressor and you would think that it would move to the left, it will always move to the right. So when you're finding a place in your stash that has enough room for the gun, always remember that you need the cells to be on the right of the weapon, not to the left, even though that's a little bit counterintuitive. Now, another quick tip whilst we're talking about weapons is to do with an early wipe classic, and that is the SKS. The SKS in the first few weeks of wipe is an absolute godsend of a weapon because it is cheap, it fires relatively good ammo, especially PS when you get to Prap or 2, which is going to deal with most class 3 armors absolutely perfectly. But the problem with the SKS, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, is that the iron sights are absolutely awful, and if you don't want to spend the extra money for the OP SKS, you're stuck with these absolutely awful iron sights. Well, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but if you take the rear sight off of the SKS, you can now fire the gun with a much cleaner iron sight. For whatever reason, within this game, you do not need the rear sight for the SKS to be accurate. And as such, removing that rear sight will allow you to maintain accurate shots and good groupings whilst having a much clearer sight picture. And the last thing that I wanna to talk to you about whilst we're talking about weapons is something that's become a bit cliche, but that is that there are no such thing as bad weapons, only bad ammo. And as such, any gun with the right ammo can be good and also any gun with the wrong ammo will be absolutely awful. Now, 
there are literally hundreds of different ammunitions within this game. So what I want to tell you is a few fundamentals and give you a wicked resource that is going to help you get your head around these things. Now, first and foremost, the resource that I just mentioned is something made by No Food After Midnight and it's on the Tarkov Wiki and it is the EFT Ammo Guide. And I'll put a link to that down in the description. And basically, this is going to tell you all sorts of things about the different ammos within Escape from Tarkov. Everything from the penetration power, the flesh damage it does, the armor damage it does. And once you have this table and you've got to grips of what everything means, what you want to look for is the penetration of each bullet. This is going to be by and large, apart from a few exceptions, the most important thing with most of the ammo in the games. Now the penetration is usually something like 27 or 38 or 40. What this number basically means is, is the amount of penetration power that the cartridge has. Now we could dive deep into this and to be honest, I don't fully understand it myself, but as a general rule of thumb, what you want to consider is what is the penetration power and what armor can that penetrate? And this is super easy because on the whole, something between say 30 and 40 penetration is going to have no problem breezing through a class three armor. And similarly, if it's between 40 and 50 pen, then it's gonna easily penetrate a class four and so on. So all you have to do is look at that first number and that is going to be the level of armor that it's going to easily penetrate. Now, all you have to do is just work out based on that where whereabouts you are in the wipe. So for example, at the moment it's very early wipe. Most people are gonna be running say class three and the odd rare class four. So that means if a bullet has a penetration of say 37, well you're gonna be pretty safe at the moment. That is until people start unlocking better armor in like a week or two. And then in like a month or so, once the wipe settles down, I would say one of the best things you can do if you don't have any god tier ammo available because it is hard to get it, always make sure you have at least say between 30 and 45 pen. This is gonna deal with most armors in the game. And just because the penetration is say 42, it doesn't mean you're not gonna be able to penetrate a class five. It just means it's gonna take more bullets to do so. And that about sums it up for today's video. I really hope that some of you oh found my. this useful. Now, for those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I love to see you who sticks around until the end. So if you're still here, I'd like you to let me know by answering this question down in the comments. Would you rather eat everything for the rest of your life with a spoon or everything Thing with the rest of your life with a fork. Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Every Joel. Peace.